Beshem Hashem Nasem Nasiach. We having another limud kolach sod yutet adar sheni tav shein pe dalet. I wanna talk about the experience that I had this week. This week I had a very uh, difficult and challenging day. I uh, going to another state, traveling, red eye, you know, and uh, coming back red eye, that means uh, overnight flight, to go to a very beloved uh, Yehudi uh, attending the court that he had. In this, in this case, it was a federal case. Uh, we're not going to get into the details of what this case was, but there are certain lessons that are learned that uh, it's very precious to everyone. Now, first and foremost, we have to understand the Ahav Talah that the person needs to love his fellow Jew as himself. Right? Especially if he's, a, you know, he's been friend with him, or he's his relative, definitely as Chafaz Chaim teaches us, person needs to bestow chasadim right, to family members, to people of his city first, right, and uh, then first is the, his, uh, you know, his parents, his, his siblings, you know, his, his children, wife, his, wife. his wife, obviously, right, and then the family, relatives, and uh, the list goes on, but the family is very important. Now, that means a person needs to do whatever he can to help another fellow Yehudi. Right? So, living in this wonderful country, United States of America, and the Hasidim that uh, this country has uh, given us all sorts of kindness, uh, Baruch Hashem, especially that we have the freedom of, uh, of keeping our religion, uh, keeping Torah and Mitzvot, they, they are to be appreciated. We appreciate the, uh, the, uh, uh, the system that there is, and we appreciate the ability of, uh, of keeping Torah and Mitzvot here freely, especially for us, that we have immigrated from other countries, and that uh, we went through persecution of uh, all sorts of uh, uh, you know, religion reasons. So we truly appreciate being here. And especially we appreciate having the, uh, the freedom of speech that we can express our opinion, right? even to the judge, right? even to the prosecuting uh, uh, agents uh, that we, we are not silenced and this is very important that we express our opinion right? so I wanted to express my opinion about uh, uh, the, that which you know is, is happening right? and in the country and we need to be aware we need to uh, be very careful with uh, with our uh, uh, Halakhot, awareness of halakhot, right? that in many cases a person could be more heter, a person could find himself certain heter, uh, permissions, okay, I, everyone doing this, let me do it, right? but we have to understand not only uh, the, the goyim, other uh, gentiles are uh, becoming um, sensitive in certain areas, and we need to uh, honor those sensitivities. We have to understand that if there are certain loopholes or there are certain uh, gray areas, right? Uh, if the if there are certain things that is happening, doesn't mean every because everyone is doing it, we should be doing it, because there could be all sorts of uh, ramifications and results out of this, right? And has uh, aleinu the consequences of uh, committing, uh, you know, certain averot, certain uh, 
illegal activities knowingly or or unknowingly could be, could could end up with big chilul Hashem, right? Because to be honest, um, you know, the values that we have are are great, and then we make a mistake. Uh, Gentiles uh, they don't look at us like everyone else. They they expect much more than uh, more, much more from us than other than uh, other nations. So that leaves us with a lot of responsibilities on our shoulder that we need to be very careful. You know, and, uh, I heard from Harab uh, Moshe Heinemann Shlita that in uh, certain areas that they could be ta'ut goim, ta'ut goim, right? Harab, uh, the goy made a mistake, right? Okay. Uh, should you go ahead and uh, and remind him of his mistake? Yes. Moshe Heinemann was a big posek says, yes. Don't say, okay, he made a mistake. I, I, I'm not going to mention. No. Go ahead, make a chidush Hashem. Right? Right. He returned the jewelry. The the family bought for him. Right. He returned it back even though he was told to come. Right, right, Akum. You know, I I I recently heard a case. Somebody. Big chidush Hashem. Yeah, yeah. A person could do big chidush Hashem. Right. Return the mistake. Right. Now I heard a real case. Somebody. Uh, uh, noticed hundred thousand dollars money wired to his account by mistake, and he didn't say uh, nothing. He didn't say anything. He didn't go to bank and say this money is not mine. After a few months, they came to him. They came after him and they prosecuted him. They brought him to court, and he had no defense to say. He said, "I I thought this is a gift from God." And unfortunately, they they put him, they sentenced him one year in jail. Wow. Right? Uh, it wasn't his mistake. Uh, it came to him. You, know, you should have said something. Right. You should have, you should have, you know, uh, reported this. Right. Right. Now there are many examples that happens. I'm not going to get into any details. You know, it doesn't matter the details. You know, people are becoming very curious. Uh, no, we're not getting, we don't need to know the details. We need to be careful about uh, our lives, our families. Right? We cannot jeopardize the Shalom Bayit and uh, many other areas of our uh, uh, wonderful, uh, precious life. And we need to be careful. Right? We need to uh, be sensitive to others. Uh, Goim or Yehudim doesn't make a difference. In many areas, we need to be more sensitive to Goim mm -hmm. because of Chas Shalom, Chilul mm Hashem, -hmm. uh, desecrating Hashem's name. Uh, Avon of Chilul Hashem is very, it's, it's, it's unbelievably uh, you know, harder to, uh, to seek forgiveness. Right? And Hidush Hashem is so a, important. Yes, but yes. also we have to be a role model. We need to be a role model, exactly. Yeah. We need, uh, because going doing it doesn't mean that we should do it. Right. Uh, now, another lesson I want to share, and this is very important, is the, I was there with the, another, uh, I was with other Rabbanim, and they also came to this conclusion. You know what an embarrassing scene is. Right, to see in the court that the, the, the lawyers are trying to defend you. They're trying to come up with all sorts of defense right, to be more uh, to, uh, to, to say, okay, this was a mistake, this was an <clears throat> intentional, right, and they are trying to protect you in order to save you. And then you see these prosecuting lawyers, right? That, uh, the, you know, whatever attorneys that they are, and they, they get up and they try to, you know, uh, uh, fight back. They try to say, no, he did it intentionally. This is, these are the records. This is what we did. This is what we find out. And then they come up with the recordings. They come up with the, 
with uh, all sorts of surveillance, uh, you know, recordings saying that no, this was intentional. So, this is exactly what is going to happen after a person is judged in Olam Abba, right? That they are going to be Malachim coming to give testimony. Right? As our Chachamim teaches, uh, our own limbs going to give testimony, right? 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 So this way we need to understand that we don't want to be putting ourselves in judgment. So we should, we should be always very careful learning the Halakhot and not putting ourselves in judgment because nobody can stand, you know, uh, 100% clear from judgment. They always find something, you know, the law they want to find something, but they find something. There's a Gemara that says there's a Sefer called Sefer Zichronot. Sefer Zichronot. And right. in there, every Torah you learn is written in there. You, the Malachim Rahid Dan is in there. And Chas Peshonom, Chas Peshonom, somebody does the right. way, also is written in Sefer Zichronot. Right, so everything is written. Everything, there is a, there is an eye that sees everything. Right. There is an Ozen, there's the, that's Shomayat. That there is an ear that hears everything. And there is the hand an that is written Except everything. So, you know, we see in the, with technology, they have all of these things. Right, so. so that makes us to be more careful, that makes us to be more caring, that makes us to understand not to risk with our lives, with our, uh, you know, precious lives, right? Uh, that um, uh, obviously we need to be role model, right? Another area I want to talk about is that we need to be sensitive to others, right? If somebody had a certain mistake, chas v'shalom, a person should become happy of that. Or chas v'shalom, somebody would bully the family members, or, or somebody to come and say, you know, and be happy about what happened, how he deserves it. Lo aleinu chas v'shalom, chas v'chalila. This is lack of sensitivity. This is not a Jewish uh, concept. You know, concept. Right? We are not the ones who we cannot judge others. You can never put, you can never judge another person unless you put your, 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 you know, you put your feet in, in as the expression says, you put your feet in. You said you're sitting in, the, the in his shoes. shoes. Yeah, your, right? Yeah. Your foot in his shoes. Right. right? So this is very important, and we just have to be very supportive to each other, right? We don't judge. Judgment belongs to Hashem. Right. right. Judgment belongs to Hashem, and uh, the proper Bateh Dinim, they are the ones who can judge. You know, and unfortunately, we, we find, you know, in the justice uh, system, that uh, sometimes they do uh, they are more strict, you know, when it comes to monetary manner, matters than life matters. Uh, people who commit murder, they, they tend to be more lenient and, uh, to, to them than, uh, than people who, uh, you know, had some sort of, they call it, <coughs> white crime. Right? White crime is a monetary crime. Right? They call it fraud anything that could be, and they have a whole system. So we need to be very careful. If you don't know something, ask. Right? If you're not sure, inquire. Right? Always safeguard yourself. And Hashem, this way, we should, we should always be um, immune, protected. protected from all sorts of judgments, from all sorts of chas v'shanam, chilul Hashem, and this way, our, uh, you know, our families will, uh, will go to sleep without worry. Right, peace of mind. Peace of mind, right. They, they, they have peace of mind. And under that Hashem, no hardship would come upon us. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu remove any judgments from us. Lo al yedei bizayon. Lo al yedei nisayon. Should not be true investment. We should not be challenges. No, no dinim. Only Rachamim, only 
only to Hasadim as Zohar Agadosh of uh, uh, this week in Chokhle Israel, right? I believe it was unbelievable. It was uh, Monday, the Zohar Agadosh of Monday spoke yeah. about this, that if there is Rachamim, Rachamim brings Rachamim, right? If there is judgment, right? Judgment brings judgment. And over there says, in order to be immune from judgment, a person needs to seek Rachamim, right? And uh, it goes to a lot of details in this area. So we need to always ourselves look for mercy and bestow mercy. As we say in Yud Gimel Midot, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Ker Rachum Chanon, Erech Apayim Merav Chesed Vemet, Noser Chesed, Arnafim Noser Abu Nafim Shavukata Venagre. Bezat Hashem Besorot Tobot Veyeshuot, May HaKadosh Baruch Hu Behim Mashiach Sikhenu Bimhera Biyamenu, that we should have our Shoftim, Laminim and Amanashinim, Ante Yitikva, that all these, you know, Laminim and Amanashinim, they should not be, there should not be any hope to them, and that Bezat Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu should remove all the wicked, right, uh, wicked individuals right, uh, uh, that, that are unfortunately doing misery to, to our nation, right, and Hashem should remove injustice in our times. Amen. Amen. Amen.